so this video I would like to explain the t-test a little bit further because I see some people are making the same uh, mistakes. Um, so let me first create two variables x and y, so they're just random numbers. Uh, and I'm going to create a z variable which I'm going to use as a grouping variable. Now if I'm going to perform a t-test uh, between the two groups, I would take one variable, either x or z, uh, or uh, x or y, and then just use z as a grouping variable. And indeed, as you can see, um, this is not done correctly. Uh, oh, actually it is done correctly. Yeah, so indeed, you know, the mean in group A is 0.7 and the mean in group B is minus 0.2. Now the difference is not significant, but if we would increase the numbers, uh, so more, uh, more observations, then more likely it is to have... So why doesn't it work? Oh yeah, of course, this needs to also to be 100, so 50. Yep. So indeed, well, in this case, it's still not significant. They both come from a normal distribution. Uh, but the mean in group A is now minus 0.13 and the mean in group B is 0 0.044. Now, some of you have not used uh, the tilde, but the comma. Uh, so if I would do this, uh, in this case I would get uh, NAs. But let's say, you know, I put here not uh, the grouping variable, but another variable. It does give me a solution. So what does it mean? Well, here it just compares uh, so now it will treat x not as a grouping variable, but it will treat it as the second variable on which you want to compare. So basically it means, okay, you know, you created two groups, y and x. Yeah? So basically uh, you could do the same thing with saying, you know, maybe you would like to, uh, to do the exact same test. So in that case we would say we're going to index. We're going to only take the B's and compare them with the A's. And there we get exactly the same result. However, if we do it like this, then it will consider that these, so this is now 50 numbers, right? Because we only selected 50 from the 100 that we have estimated. Um, and here, you know, we say, okay, you know, these are the 100 uh, numbers, but we're not going to treat them not as if, you know, everyone has, uh, has an, uh, an observation of Y and X, but we're going to treat them as if Y are all the observations for the first group and X are all the observations for the second group. Yeah. So please be, uh, be careful with uh, using either the tilde or the comma with the t-test.